Hey guys, um, we're going to be taking a look at page six in our textbooks. So go ahead and grab your textbook. I'm going to also open up here in mynggconnect.com. All right, so page six, we are going to read Golden Bay. Now, we've been talking about reading strategies, and you can see here that one of the things we're going to be looking at is planning and monitoring. So just be aware that you have to think about what's going on. Part of the planning is knowing why you're reading it, and so I will tell you why you're reading this. Number one, it's a fun little story. Number two, we are practicing all of our reading skills, but part of this is looking at critical details and what might happen and making guesses about how the story might end. So that's the plan. We're gonna read it, we're gonna make a guess as to what's going on, and then monitor, we're gonna check in every once in a while to make sure, oh yeah, I understand, because if we're confused and if we're lost, time out. I either gotta go back and reread or I got to find another way to uh, figure out what's going on. Maybe ask for some help, look up some words. So page six, I'm looking at my textbook. You can follow along here on the website if you don't have yours. So Golden Bay. Golden Bay is a new brick apartment building. It is the nicest building in our neighborhood, which is pretty run down. It is for seniors only. I do not mean high school seniors. I only mean old people. Everybody calls the place old and gray instead of golden bay. Last week, I was hanging out with my friend Boyd, as always. We were passing the building. He stopped and said, I bet those old people in there have money in their pockets. So what? I asked. Claude, you and I are going to get some of that money he said. I did not like the way he said it, but I didn't say anything. On Saturday morning, Boyd and I went by Golden Bay again. We were wearing basketball jerseys and holding empty cans that we had wrapped in red and gold paper to match our school colors. We walked right in the lobby. It even smells old in here, said Boyd. Boyd, we should get out of here, I whispered. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of do some self-monitoring here, making sure I understand. And so I noticed that it starts off with Golden Bay, capital G, capital B, that's the name of the building. If you live in an apartment, you might have some sort of apartment name. But I also noticed it's the nicest building in the neighborhood and the neighborhood is pretty run down. That means the neighborhood is old. The houses look old. The cars might be a little bit old. They look like they need to be painted but this is a very nice brand new building, okay? Um, and it goes on and we get the characters' names later on the story. We have Claude, who's the narrator, and Boyd, the best friend. So Claude's telling us the story and his friend is Boyd. All right, so they're gonna get some of that money. Now, they could go in and steal it, I guess, or rob these old people or ask for the money and just say, hey, can we have some money? Um, now, if someone came into your apartment complex asking for money, what would you do? All right, and then we go down here a little bit lower and it talks about how they're going in with their basketball jerseys on, that's a kind of coat, and they're holding cups with red and gold, their school colors. All right, but I also know that Claude he doesn't feel comfortable. He says, we should get out of here. So something's not quite right. Let's continue. I thought we were friends, he said. Friends stick together, don't they? Yeah, I said. I wanted to say something else, but I didn't. A man's voice growled behind us. What are you doing here, boys? We turned around. The building manager was scowling at us. The basketball team needs new uniforms, said Boyd. Oh, yeah, I heard about that on the news, the man said. Your school needs money. 
you kids are going around town with those cans asking for donations. That's right, said Boyd. That's what we're doing. I poked him with my elbow. Oh, sorry, he poked me with his elbow. He poked me, ah, he poked me with his elbow. Uh, yeah, that's right, I said, looking down at my shoes. At that moment, I wished I could be anywhere else. Okay, the man said, go ahead and knock on doors. So these boys are uh, approached by the building manager and he says, what are you doing? And Boyd goes, oh, we're collecting money for the team. And the manager goes, yeah, I heard about that. So making sure I understand what's going on. All right, good. I'm tracking along. All right. But then Boyd elbows Claude, uh, uh, kind of hits him. And Claude looks at his shoes and says, yeah, that's right. How do you think Claude feels in this particular moment? Is he excited? Is he scared? Is he embarrassed? What do you think he is feeling? All right, and then it ends with, go ahead and knock on the doors. Go ahead and make your donations. All right, so what do you think is going to happen? How is this story going to end? Maybe you think that Claude is going to walk away because he doesn't like it. Or maybe Claude is going to start knocking on doors with Boyd and get a lot of money and go, huh, this is easy. Let's do this some more. I don't know. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe Boyd is going to say, you know what? You're being a little weenie. You're being scared. I don't even want your help. Why don't you just leave? And Boyd's going to keep all the money for himself. Or maybe the cops are going to come in and find that these guys are not who they say they are. I don't know. Lots of things. I just have so many ideas as to what might be happening. All right. So I'm going to turn the page. All right. And over here, we've got two different ways the story might end. Okay. So let's go ahead and read these. We took the elevator to the top floor and knocked on the first door. An old woman answered. Boyd went into his act, and the woman gave us five dollars. She said, good luck to your team. I will be cheering for you. I wanted to say, we're not on the team. I almost said it, but I did not. <laughs> Boyd laughed when she closed the door, and then I did too. It was pretty easy to fool these people, isn't it? I said. I felt kind of guilty but it wasn't enough to stop me from knocking on the next door. So that's one way the story might end. Do you like Claude in this ending? Is he a good guy? I would say no. In this ending, Claude's a bad guy because he knocks on the door, they take the money, and he laughs about it. Sure, he feels bad, but he doesn't change his behavior. Earlier in the story, it says he looked at his shoes. He feels ashamed. He feels terrible, but he still does it. All right, let's read uh, the end, the second ending. We're going to reimagine a different ending and see if it's any different. We took the elevator to the top floor and knocked on the first door. An old woman answered. Boyd went into his act, and the woman gave us $5. She said, Good luck to your team. I will be cheering for you. Boyd laughed when she closed the door, but I just turned around. Hey, where are you going? Boyd asked. I'm going home, I explained. I took the elevator to the lobby and then walked out onto the sidewalk. I started thinking about who my new friends might be. Do you like Claude in this ending? How is it different? I like him in this ending because he changes. He turns around and starts walking away. And he's basically saying, you know what, Boyd? Never mind. I'm out of here. I don't want to be a part of this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be dishonest. 
And so I like Claude because Claude says, I'm going to be a good person, not a liar and not a thief. So I like him. All right. So those are the ways the story could end. All right. Real quick, let's finalize some of this. We've talked a little bit about plot chart already. So in this story, we have the characters. Claude, the narrator, he's the one telling us the story. Boyd, his best friend. We have the setting. The setting is Golden Bay, a very nice apartment building. And when you live in a nice apartment building, it probably means you have lots of money. And so Boyd wants to go in and take some of that money. Sorry about the bell. All right. Uh, so the setting matters because if it was an old, gross, rundown apartment building, they might not think to go in there to get the money. The fact that it's a nice apartment building is really important. Okay. And then, of course, we get to end with two different endings there, which is kind of fun to think about which ending we like better. All right. That does it for that. All right, guys. We will catch you later.